I'm going to show you how to use a grid to help you lay out your objects in Axia RP9. This is our blank page. Let's turn our grid on. You go to the view menu, rulers, grid and guides and show grid. And this is the default grid. It's got 10 pixel increments and this dot that you see there, that's actually the intersection of the vertical and horizontal line. Um, and this might be perfectly good for what you need. If I want to change it, uh, I can go into view, ruler, grids and guides, and we go down to the grid settings. So here you can see we can change the spacing if we want. We can also change the style from line, uh, from sorry, intersection to line, and you can change the color. Um, so if I wanted these to be darker, I could change the color to black and it is now black. Now the problem is if I change that to line, um, this is the default line color, if I change that to something darker like that, it becomes really overwhelming and it would distract you from any content on the page. So it's a really good idea if you're using line, you keep it quite light so that it is very subtle. Um, now, why would you choose these two? Well, if you're going to have very close increments, um, the intersection is a good idea. That way it's um, not going to be too busy and too distracting. However, if I change this spacing to maybe 50 pixels, you can see now that it's actually a bit hard to see those intersection dots. So there I might want to change it to lines. Um, and I'm going to show you the benefits of Snap to Grid. I won't click on it yet because I want to sh show you um, a problem of not having Snap to Grid. So if I've got this grid here and I want to put some content out here, now just say I want to line it up, you know, really well with that line. And it's actually a little bit difficult to get it. Ex I mean, it's easy to snap it to the widget above, but these are both just missing that line there. So how can we fix that? You go to view, rulers, grid and guides, and you can actually choose snap to grid. So there we go. And now if I want it to align with one of those lines, it actually um, snaps there, but you're not restricted to that. Um, if I wanted it to be halfway along, I still can do that. Um, so you still have some flexibility, but it actually just makes it much, much easier to align your objects, uh, your widgets to the grid. Now, just say I've used my grid and I'm quite happy. I want to turn it off. I can go to view rulers, got grid and guides and just choose that show grid again and that will hide it. And now if I'm bringing other items here, you can see, oh, you might not be able to see, but I can certainly feel it. Um, it actually still snaps to the grid. Um, you know, if you're holding it exactly on a grid line. Um, so that can certainly help with your alignment as well. Um, okay, so the next video will show you how to work with guides and how to create a 12 column grid.